Hello and welcome back to Christmas. Christmas. So the promise of this live video was a homeschooling literature approach at Christmas, author recommendations and titles for the early years and later years and also family movie night. So let's start with family movie night. So um, you probably have a lot going on and maybe you have your own favorites, but this is just some of our family favorites. So the first one is Charlie Brown Christmas. Definitely a family favorite. It even um, quotes straight from the Bible scripture in that series. It's available on Amazon. I checked. Um, another favorite for the early years uh, family movie night would be The Muppets Christmas Carol. It is fantastic. That one, I just, I love having the audio playing in the background, the music, the soundtrack. Um, and then it quotes straight from Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol, which is like this world famous book about Christmas, but also it's about appreciating what you have and the attitude of your heart. Excellent for homeschooling. Um, we always had a book basket and I would bring it out at Thanksgiving and I would actually put all those Christmas books away um, at after Christmas. I usually waited until my birthday the first week of February to put Christmas stuff away because I just love Christmas so much and I just think, you know, you put so much work into it. Really enjoy it. So we had a, a book basket that was just Christmas books and we had Charlie Brown's Christmas in the book basket as well. And then we had a bunch of others. We had um, a beautiful edition of The Night Before Christmas. And when you're looking for Christmas books, what you want to look for are beautiful illustrations. This is for the early years. So early, beautiful illustrations, um, books that stand the test of time. And uh, so these are books that you read over and over and over again. So maybe something that would be really fun to do would be ask your parents and your older aunts and uncles or other people that you know from your church, if they had favorite books from their childhood, um, and then did they have favorite books from their childhood that were Christmas books that they would want to um, share with you? So I'd recommend doing that and getting your Christmas book basket and bringing it out at Thanksgiving and then um, all through the Christmas season um, for the younger years. And then for the later years, um, our boys have asked, they're teenagers now, they've actually asked for Charles Dickens um, copy of A Christmas Carol, which is not that big of a book. It's at Barnes and Noble. It's very small, but um, I love to look for books that have like beautiful covers and especially if you know you're going to be reading it again and again. Yes, you can get this at the library, but, but uh, you know, I have a hard time with going to the library because here's the thing. If you have it in your house and you can pull it off a shelf whenever you think of it, there is there's such value in that that's that's just awesome and it's part of being a culture that is open and willing to learn and revisits really good books so any book that is truly worth your time is going to be something that you're going to want to read over and over and over again so maybe for christmas books go to the library first and find ones that mean a lot to your family and then buy them and put them in the book basket um but a christmas carol for the older years that's one of our favorites i know there are others but that's one of our favorites. And then, um, so for movies, I already mentioned for the early years, Muppets Christmas Carol, that one's on repeat. And um, I just discovered for, if you have teenagers who are into history, I just discovered White Christmas. And I was a little not thrilled with it at first because the costumes to me are like, it shows a lot of female flesh. And so I was like, I don't wanna watch A White Christmas because of that. Um, but I watched it with some other people and I had never seen it and it has become one of my favorite movies of all time. So, and when I compare the flesh in, um, the amount of flesh in, um, a white Christmas to other stuff that's out there right now, I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it just, you know, you have to use your best judgment with that, but it is fantastic. It's about a veteran. It's about his family. It's about uh, struggling economically. It's about overcoming that with joy. It's about pulling together. It's about selfishness. So I highly recommend A White Christmas if you haven't watched that movie before. And if your family is really into like the, the latest dancing shows on TV, then that would be a great movie to bring in your dancers, to bring in your historical <laughs> interested war type friends and family and um, stuff like that. So A White Christmas for the older crowd. What else for the older crowd? Um, another older crowd would be um, Scrooge, um, a really, 
So we love Bill Murray. He did a version of Scrooge. Don't watch that one. <laughs> like, don't recommend that one. We love Bill Miller Murray, but that one is. Ugh. And then uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, Miracle on 34th Street and, of course, A Wonderful Life. Now, I always had these types of movies on when we would be like making Christmas cookies or doing the gingerbread house or whatever. But my kids never really sat down and watched those ones when they were young. Maybe they will this year, but we'll see. So that's that's my recommendation for um, <laughs> the literature approach for Christmas. And uh, I hope that you enjoy some of these. If you watch Charlie Brown's Christmas Story, let me know what you think. And if you have other movies or books that you recommend for the early years of childhood and then also for the later years, I would love to hear that too. So feel free to share. Merry Christmas and have a great night. Bye-bye.